and welcome to episode 80 of Trusty, Trusty Hog. Hog. I'm Catherine Bohart and this is Helen Bauer. Hello. And Helen, what did we discuss beforehand? Today you have a lot of things to set up, so I need to sit here for five minutes while you set it there all up. There are considerable parish announcements today. <sighs> episode 80, and to be honest, it's all gone to shit. We're already speaking so Listen, fast. Listen, lads, <laughs> there's, we've got some terrible news, but also don't worry, there's a happy ending. Through the fog, step forth the trusty. your problem they'll have guests and andrew white on the tech oh it's helen and catherine as the trusty hogs trust the trusty hogs or maybe not um <laughs> look last we're stopping week, the podcast we found out the po- okay. no we're not no, 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 no we're not i know but last week we did find out that our podcast studio had closed w- immediately uh, that was the warning. It was closed. Catherine deals really well with change. I love change with no <laughs> warning and um, and no plan. God, I you know how you know me fly by the seat of my pants. Am I? Um, and she got was, in the bath and started thrashing out of stress. It was a fucking disaster. <laughs> Basically, everything went to shit. We were like, "How the fuck are we going to make the podcast?" And she's burned every relaxing candle in her house. We tried to book places, and everything's booked up. Everything's too expensive. We were losing our minds. Um, Helen was doing a lot of cackling. Ha 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 ha. Well, I know that someone else will do it. Do you know what I mean? So you know, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll get sorted. Thankfully, um, neither of us, me panicking and you laughing, actually helped. Thankfully, we had the foresight the good foresight um and and peace state like sense of mind months ago years at this stage mm. to collaborate with one genius andrew white who has saved the day now here's the thing hogs listen up because if ever you were going to help us on patreon now would be the time to do it if you, even if it's just for a month we would so appreciate you because i'll tell you for why we have decided perhaps madly <laughs> And indeed, immediately strong choice. to sign a contract for a small office space in London and turn it into our very own Hogs podcast. I'm in charge studio. of the curtains. <laughs> um, yeah, a task that we prescribed the outcomes for. But listen, um, we've rented a room and we've bought soundproofing curtains and we've booked we've ordered some of the furniture that they allow you to book out of their own catalogue so it probably won't match and <laughs> um and we're doing it we're, we're setting up because we could not find a place i think we should also say for anyone that's new here hey what's up oh um, hi sorry this- welcome to our podcast everything's fine <laughs> this is a podcast that we don't actually like get paid to make we pay to make it and then we hopefully make money from you guys wanting extra episodes from us yeah. Thank you so much for everyone who already does. Oh my God, we love you, podcast uh, patrons. We patrons and podcasters. Patrons and other podcasters. No, we, love we hate the those. Other Screw the competition. We love the patrons. <laughs> Just the patrons. We're in direct competition with Joe Rogan and we're fully aware but of it. But listen, as you can imagine, I went into full spiral mode and I'm not feeling totally comfortable yet because we haven't got the bloody thing set up. So what we're going to make... You're not blinking that much. No, what we're going to make is a vlog. We're going to make a little vlog, do before and afters of the of the office space. We went there, we measured it the other day. We say we measured it, I measured it, I asked to bring a ruler did he remember no he didn't Andrew that's untrue I measured as well but yeah it's true yeah. that is true I, I did also forget I, I actually measured more I than Catherine because she couldn't ceiling. reach <laughs> but hey listen Andrew, women of your height should carry stools you're right you're not wrong <laughs> Listen, here we are. We find ourselves in a situation where we're going to try to make it work. Will it look gorgeous immediately? No. Will you support us on the last? We hope so. Will it look cute though? Do you want to send us art? Please do. If you think of anything you want to send for the studio, send it in. Yes. Um, to explain, we are currently in a plywood shed. Uh, shed. Yes. What's that noise? Um, well, there's also a scrapyard. <laughs> On the other side of this wooden wall. So please forgive us if there are any sound <laughs> issues today. We're half in a wooden shed, half in scrap. Uh, apparently they're literally just throwing scrap around. Brilliant! <laughs> so we know where I'll be spending after the podcast. Oh my God. Um, could you please close that a chip door, that sort of a plywood sort of chip? Catherine, chip that's going to do bloody nothing. Do you think maybe it well, might I've help a little? I pulled it to the end. That, oh, that's, that's it. That's it. So it's sort of <laughs> semi-open, but is as closed as it gets. You know what? The office space mightn't be so bad. This is the best day of Catherine's life. We're having a terrible time. We won't be back here, but it's the only place we could afford while we wait for our office to be set up. And I say wait for, but it is us who has to do it. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm doing really well with it. I've already ordered curtains for the space and um, and a curtain pole. Andrew is going to send is going to put our new address on what, Andrew? Um, I'll put it uh, put it publicly because um, you can just send stuff to us without accessing it. So we can avoid stalkers getting to us, but we will have like a PO, no, visit PO box sort of system. Visit me. So we're gonna have a PO box system, which basically means that you can send to the studio things if you want if you like if you have any art that you think would look cool in our studio. Lots of hair, have, toes. If you have like if you wanna send us some a bottle know, of cum. coffee pods or um uh, something nice for Please the Please do not send us cum. Sorry, Catherine. I thought, thought I think you missed that. Helen just asked for a bottle of cum. Well, whatever you can give. What is wrong with whatever you? Whatever you can give. Helen, no. Did I um, tell you? Helen, this? it's a place with no natural... No, that's A, disgusting, and B, I was going to say it's a place with no natural light, so I was thinking like a good, a tasteful fake plant. But you know how people love like sending people bodily fluids? So my friend just had like a big leak. In maybe his- like dried flowers, because I have vases. Like dried flowers would be nice, maybe. Okay, we're having two very different conversations. Yeah, because I can't cope with you. It's already a nightmare that our podcast... Do you, you know the about the bodily fluids that I people leave to make you. a stamp on places. Helen. Helen. So, okay. Helen. Yeah. I've had enough of this. Okay. <laughs> Basically, you, my friend had a leak and you, behind I'm the bathtub was a gifts. ball of piss. I'm not giving Two you, liters. I'm not giving you birthday okay. gifts if you don't stop. <laughs> you have to stop being disgusting or no gifts. I'm sorry. Oh my God, that's harsh. No, it's fair. Okay, let's let's do the podcast. So look, there's a situation. <laughs> let's roll. Okay, Helen, first of all, gift for me. You brought me Mozart themed chocolate from Austria. I went to Salzburg. I did it. How was it? No, actually, tell me afterwards because you're going to be distracted if I don't give you your gifts, aren't you? Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you for my delicious finest milk chocolate filled with hazelnut cream. Thank you, Mozart. Thank you, Helen. It says Mozart on it and it's got the Austrian flag at the top of the chockey. There's Andrew showing Mm. his right now if you're on YouTube. It's lovely stuff. Enjoy, everyone. Enjoy it. Okay, I have a couple of gifts for you before we get into your holiday. (laughs) I'm 32. The first is... My girlfriend went to New Orleans. New Orleans. Yes. And for her birthday. Yes. And in her card, you demanded a gift. And then I text her. And then you reminded her multiple times. People need to be reminded sometimes about yeah. gifts. She got you this, um, and she'd like you to know that it's not as ugly as she would have hoped, but she thought thematically it oh, worked for it. you. Oh. Because it says something on it that I think you'll enjoy. New Orleans, topless and bottomless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good! Happy? I, freak, I just lost my sunglasses. I'm so happy. I'm taking a picture of it. Send oh her my a voice god! Note. I'll you, put it on the Instagram. This is insane. Would you send her a voice note? Right she now? You. Yeah, she's mad for you. This thing, Catherine, is so desperate to make it a thruple, and it's not happening. I'm not, but you she, are she's so des- gagging for it to be a thruple. She's desperate to hang out with you, and you won't hang out with her. You know, yesterday Catherine messaged me, being like, oh, "No, sorry, Sunday," and she was like do you want to come for a walk with me and Ellen in the woods? And it's like, yeah, there's nothing I want more than to walk with a couple in the woods on a Sunday. There was a gang of us. Okay. Was Who was the gang? I invited other people. Really? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. I would have not pretended I, I had a cold. You, I t- <laughs> I'm joking. I did have a cold. No, you okay. didn't. I told you that I had a beautiful Hi, game. Hi, I'm have- sorry. Catherine's talking, which there is so rude. Thank you for my gifty. I love it. It says topless and bottomless and it's made me really happy. And it's going to go straight on. Well, I don't have a fridge that has magnets on it, but it's going to go straight on my oven convection hood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. I feel like All I right. might still be a bit drunk. Are you ready Oven for, convection. Are you ready for your hood. birthday gift? Yes, of course I'm ready for my birthday gifts. Okay. The first Wait one, a week. The first one you've already guessed and ruined. So, now listen to me. That's not a dressing gown. Listen it, to it's me. not going to fit. Listen to <laughs> okay, me. Okay, I'm listening. Listen to me. It's a summer one. And also bear in mind there's a gift receipt in it. Why? Oh, because in case you, you don't went, like it. In case you don't like it or in case I, it doesn't fit. Your taste is so good. I'm going to no, love it. No, I don't it. know. You might not like it. It's a big call for did me. You, when you bought it, did you say that her tits are huge? I checked the sizes with the lady, yeah. Okay, and you said for like 38J. I said... Was Psych, it's double J. <gasps> That's a classy colour. That's a classy For those colour. of you who haven't listened before, Helen had to throw away her old dressing gown because she'd come on it so much. In it. And in it. It's in it. so different. In I'm not purposefully Come so coming much. on top of a dressing Come gown. In it. But for winter wankies, you wear a dressing so, gown. Because if you wank on. under the covers in the middle of the day, you will have a nap afterwards. I'm not thick. Would you please try it on? Yeah. See the fits? It's the Rosie, what's her name brand from Marks and Spencer's. Rosie. Rosie Huntington, what's her name? 
You got Huntington it. Whiteley. No, babe, you gotta untie the ties. There's a tie on the inside and a tie. On... No, don't put it over your head. No, 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 no one puts on a dressing gown like that. Okay, well then, how do you? I know how to put. On Just a untie gown. the ties. Oh, I see. There's a tie there. Sweet okay. mother of you Jesus! Say, I say. said it twice. But I have to speak into your mic. No one can hear you. Squawking. Sorry, everyone. Catherine's telling a woman how to suck eggs. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? You couldn't it's put a, it on. It's a famous English expression. Can you just put that on and see if it covers your giant boobs, please? Why are you still putting it over your head? How could that possibly? For anyone who thinks I'm a moron right who now, there's, the a, plas- again there's a plastic tag. So if I um, rip it, then I can't return it. Oh, and she's planning to already. It would seem. Does it fit? How does it work? Does it fit? You gotta pull that out. Pull that out of that side. No, the other way. Pull it the other way, my love. Okay. Oh, wait. You're currently listening to a How woman get dressed. How many comedians does it take to put on one house coat? Two. I call it a house coat. You call it a dressing gown. House coat. Now put that around the other way. Go around there. Yep. And then bring that round. Bring that round your waist. There you go. Lovely bit of business. It's a lovely colour on you, but does it fit? <gasps> I love it, but does it feel like I'm wearing a flashes outfit? What? Just honestly, for anyone who can't see it, it's like a grey satin. And no, we know that I'm not going to be gorgeous. Under I can it. really see you lounging around the house in it. It's just blue. like rat out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, rat out? Why is your rat out? Cat. And why do you call it a rat? Oh my God, I love it. It's really lovely on you. Do you like it? Do you promise? This is me. Do you this promise you like now? it? Yeah, I fucking love it. It's gorgeous. It's you look so at the lovely. I love how big the sleeves are. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Do you like it? I love you it. You look really, really lovely in it. Thank you so much. Oh my god, you're so. Oh no, I really love it. You promise? You're not just yeah, saying it. Is there okay. anything in the pockets or? No, no, no. There's a gift receipt, but also I got you another gift as well. Ooh. <laughs> I that you would um, be mad uh. if that was the only one because you already knew about it. So here's a surprise gift. This oh my just, god, I get is, you nothing. This, this I thought so you great. might like, but I, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. If it's too classy, we can return it. What do you mean classy? <gasps> Scrunchy! I love you like it. Do you like it? I'm so glad. I just thought, finish the loungewear look with a lovely big scrunchie. This is the best day of my life. Isn't it beautiful? I thought of your colouring would be so nice with this. Oh my God, let me take a picture of you. For anyone who doesn't know, my colouring is um, bright orange and pink she and grey. She's a model. And that's what matches me because my face is bright model. orange, pink and grey. Super model. I fucking love it. Yay! This is the best day. Did I actually do good? Yeah, you did. Um, can I tell you about my holiday now or does Andrew want to give me his gift? Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I've actually got, I've got gifts for multiple people in the room. Not what? just you, Helen. Do you just save it for the extras? We'll save it for the extras. Okay, I'm going to be good. Helen, before you tell me about your holiday, I just want to say one last thing on gifts because the last gift you got me was the book All My Mothers and I'm reading it and I'm obsessed. I'm actually furious I have to do this podcast because I want to know what Eva's up to. Literally we... five months later. <laughs> I was, I had another, bo- I had several books on the go. Of course you did. Okay, well, I thought <gasps> you'd be happy. <laughs> Thank you for reading it. Tell me about Salzburg. I'm sorry that you already are upset by the book. I love that you're wearing your dressing gown. You look you... so gorgeous. It feels natural on me. Um, um, can you take a picture of how gorgeous she looks, please? Yeah, I'm um, sorry. Could you get a picture of how gorgeous I look? Please? Sorry, Em. Could you get a picture of how gorgeous she's looking? Sorry, can we all just quickly... Sorry, can anyone sorry, on Em, it's YouTube, crazy. Can you just screenshot it so we can all have just an sorry, image of how gorgeous, how gorgeous I look Sorry, she's modelling how gorgeous she looks right now. Can you tell? Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I put a primer on before like putting foundation on today. So I I've can kind of tell. elevated feminine-wise. Hey, babe. Like if Hillary Clinton had done this, she would have won. Can there I you say go. something? I fucking said can it. Can I say one thing about that? That's political again. corner. Yeah, go for it. I know you're going to wank in it, but... I don't think you should smoke in it. That fabric will keep that smell. It's mine now. I can wank and smoke in whatever I want. Also, I don't think you know this, but this would be a summer wanking dressing gown and summer wanks are naked on top of the bed. So you don't have to worry about it. This will not be involved. It will just be involved for the final wipe. Hello. I hate <laughs> Anyone you. still listening? It's nice to wipe your rat our... on. Why did I say not rat? Yeah. Goodness, no. Yeah, of course I'd rat. You've got to, yeah. you have to wipe your rat. Use the tissue. After, no, terrible for the planet. I hate you. Always use a hanky or a large house coat. I hate you. Okay. I tell you about my holiday now. Please. I went to Salzburg. Yeah. And it was life changing. Tell me. That's all I have to say. What? That's not, it that's was never- 
all you have to so say. Dead. It was just so magical. How was the Sound of Music tour? Oh my God. Four and a half hours with, his name was Gerhard. Yeah. He, he was so cheeky. <laughs> and he, um, he definitely had learned his English script, but did not speak any English <laughs> outside of it and then I tried to speak to him in German yeah. but he also had no idea what I was saying he was the only person on that trip who made me feel like I couldn't speak German like my friends were like oh your German is still there you still speak it fluently and I was like oh, I think so yeah and then everything I said to Gerhard he was like was but I think we were just was? on totally <laughs> different levels yeah, to be fair I speak English and a lot of the things you say I'm like what yeah I think that's what it you was know, it's more like huh like we got to the Mirabelle eh? Place Gardens where they found eh? a lot of the do re mi song for any fans and um basically like i said to he was like telling us the history of Miro gardens and he was like and he and um, this this emperor duke married the most beautiful woman in all of austria and i went well most beautiful until i arrived and he just looked at me like confused yeah and then just carried on wow and it's like i don't even he think he was trying German, to be rude babe. he just doesn't have a sense of humor austrian very oh. different please be respectful um bad news hitler's eagle's nest was closed can't get everything you want for your birthday but <laughs> that's fine why was it closed they heard you were coming and you seemed too enthusiastic they don't open hitler's summer home until april i'm not i think what? it's something to do with like the road being icy going up to the top but you can't just like go there of a winter's day that's so weird. I mean, you have to adapt to survive and I get it. I guess. Um, Italian music tour in general was great. So what they would do is we'd be in the minivan and we'd be driving to our next location. Like, let's say the wedding chapel in Monza, where Maria von Trapp marries the captain. And then um, Gerhardt would do like a segue into a song and he'd be like, um, yeah, I'm making this drive. I've done it so many times. I have so much confidence with it. Much like... Maria and then he'd start <laughs> playing I have confidence <laughs> and obviously I'm losing my obviously. fucking mind the obviously. entire time Emma Black is literally gagging for it she oh she's cannot, loving it she loves Sound of Music more than me I'd say really like we were both we, so we sat in the middle losing our minds and then our friend Ellie and housemate Sunil Patel yeah. just sat in the back like and I've never seen people like so clearly disassociate yeah of course like exactly they left the minivan mentally <laughs> <laughs> so many times they weren't physically in the realm with so us you anymore. Think Gerhardt was worth the four hundred fifty pounds. Oh, I love Gerhardt, and then I tipped him at the end. Obviously, you I gave him more. You have to give him more. You have to give him more. What are you talking he was about? the sweetest man. And what was so good is he clearly had like beef with so many people in the city. We'd be like driving past the pizza restaurant. He's like, "Oh, here, the pizza's very nice, but the man who runs it's an asshole." <gasps> and there would just be a man standing outside smoking. And I was like, "Ah." <laughs> he what? also Gerhardt was definitely a hundred percent too into Charmaine Carr, who plays Liesel in the film, and like he he must have read her book like two hundred times and no. just learned the facts from no. that. And he'd be like, "This was Charmaine's favorite place to eat when she was filming." No way. Charmaine loved this. Oh, God, stop. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Also, we found out something so upsetting because like most of the stuff like he was telling me as a massive Sound of Music fan, you knew and I do and obviously as a history buff i knew about the real maria von trapp mm. uh, the story a bit but the worst thing is so bad you know what the, i don't know about the real maria von trapp john tells the summary short please yes yeah, so it's exactly the same as the film apart from the captain wasn't um a dick to his children like they put that in to like get a bit of drama and they didn't oh. like walk to switzerland they took a train to italy and then got on a boat to america but they had a, her a horrible stepmother potentially in the works um the baroness maybe i'll bet you like, the baroness was a legend in real life i think she was someone who was like trying to be a nun and then her reverend mother was like no go to this house they need help like they've got no mother I'll and then bet you the baroness was actually really an nice. absolute babe that's the thing history hates women it hates women that's why we've got it no female dictators women. facts uh what because we're not allowed to get into positions of power if women were allowed if we if the patriarchy didn't hold us you back we'd have double the number of genocides think about it you're horrible think about it women are held back the things you're we could horrible. do the things we could do you're horrible so in the film you know they walk over a hill mm. to get to switzerland yeah. away from the nazis yeah. the hill they actually film them walking oh, over a drill in the back now <laughs> lovely bit of business are we getting that andrew uh i don't know i think i think it very faint if so fabulous how funny Ooh. would it be if it wasn't a drill and it was just Catherine's asshole 
<laughs> okay. Do you want a, Do you want something that will cheer you up, Catherine? What? I haven't finished my story. Well, it's, it's related to your history corner, actually. Oh, Go thank on. you. It's some um, feedback about your history corner. <gasps> um uh this is this is from ivy hi, hi ivy uh you can also um let helen know that my boyfriend loves listening to the podcast with me and his only complaint is can Catherine let helen finish finish i'm really interested in these plague pits <sighs> wow you know what ivy i cannot be more grateful to you and your boyfriend that means so fucking much to me Catherine genuinely believes that um she isn't allowed to talk in this podcast but personally, I feel like she is silencing women in a way that isn't okay. I don't think I'm not allowed to talk on the podcast. I think that every time I attempt, every time I attempt to, you usually cut me off. Can I finish my story now? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, Andrew. <laughs> so, um, but the hill they're walking over to escape the Nazis is literally the Untersberg, which goes straight into Hitler's summer home. <laughs> so like at the end of the film, they're just walking into a Nazi playpen. Like, no! I guess this will do. So they and all die. They Well, if it was the way it was, they'd all die. But actually, all the Von Trapps made it to New York and they tried to keep their singing group going there. But due to the times, it was quite tricky to be an Austrian-German singing group. Yeah, nobody America. wants to hear about it. Um, but the two of the boys moved back to Austria eventually. Wow. Fascinating. But I learned so much and I loved it. It rained one day, so we did an apple strudel making class. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. It was incredible. Was it delicious? Will you make me an apple strudel? I could actually. <gasps> I actually could. I'd love you to. Um, Emma Black bought the actual recipe books, even though you could get them for free online, but she wanted the souvenir. She's so cute. Um, but she had an absolute fight with Sunil Patel. Why? Because like, What did he do? I went to school with Emma and Ellie, so I know which one to partner up with for a practical task. So I immediately bagsy Ellie the night before Why? when we decided to do the apple strudel class. I'm not working with Emma Black. She doesn't share very well and I'll never do it perfectly. Like I'll never do it right. So then she was... Oh, paired. Emma Black is me. I am Emma Black. You just, are just, just we Emma, Emma Black. Black. Yeah. Um. So I just didn't want to pair with Emma because I didn't think I'd be able to be included. And as the class was happening, Emma was like whispering to Sunil, like, I would like to do that too. I will be doing that. In fact, I'll just do everything. So <laughs> Sunil basically was wearing an apron and wasn't allowed to join in. And then he kept on trying by putting his hands towards her strudel dough. And no. she lost it Did she? because theirs had a hole in it and me and Ellie got told ours were perfect and then they went to Sunil and Emma and went oh no what's happened here <gasps> <laughs> I have never felt more powerful in my life but you and then we made a Salzburg Kopfell and we went for dinner and oh it was just so magical Kopfell it's um maybe Knuckle oh yeah Salzburg and Knuckle that's what it's called and um it wasn't very good what was it? It's like, it's a, you put some jam in a dish. Yeah. And then you whisk egg whites and then you put in one yolk and then you put in a bit of corn flour and you pop it on top and it sort of like bakes like a meringue. But I, I did not mix mine very well. So I had a bit of scrambled egg and then a bit of corn flour dry powdered and then some jam. That sounds horrible. Okay. Yeah. But we, I was trying my best. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, Sounds bad. And I don't what like else it. did I do? Oh God, Catherine. Um, <laughs> I shared a room with Emma and Ellie. Yeah. And I brought some snoring spray, and they said they didn't hear me, so Whoa. I think that's really good stuff. Can you recommend it to me? Yeah, I can. Where'd you yeah. get it? It's called so uh -oh. oh sleeps sleepies sleepies throat spray. Can you? I need that. Um, I will. It's mine. I need to get some for me though. I'll take you to a boots. I'm a real snorer. Um, it's very good. It's very good. Mm. And then what else did I do? Oh my goodness, so much. You had the best time ever. I'd say the best time of my life in my entire world, yeah. Whoa. Thank you very much. And I've decided that I've been too holiday happy. Yeah, you've been doing a lot. And I'm stopping holiday. and I'm gonna get an app called Clear Score. What's that, babe? I don't know, but Andrew's perked up. <laughs> it's a credit score tracking. Oh, I use website. credit karma. Mm. Same thing, yeah. Is that? Basically, similar thing. Is that the same? Yeah, clear, clear score is probably probably a bit easier for Helen. Why? Yes. No, I'm just, I don't know. I got told it was like the simple one, like yeah, you just yeah. put in your name mm -hmm. and then what you have in your bank account, and then yeah. they say you're clearly perfect. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll come up with a number. Yes. Between one and a thousand. And with with credit score, do you want like the highest or the lowest? Higher. You want higher. Great. I imagine I have 10 billion. Okay. We've been here for approximately half an hour. I'm guessing you're never going to ask me. So, yes. Did I passed you pass your my driving, driving test. test. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I could make it to 40 minutes. You fucking shitbag. I genuinely shit bag. thought we could you're have got to You're a shitbag. You're a shitbag. I was like, when are you going to ask me 
Dick Wad. I have some other parish announcement at the age of 34. I pass my bloody driving And test. she was genuinely over the moon. Like I spoke to you on the I phone like an hour ex- afterwards. You were like, I did it. It's done. I was absolutely walking. I still am when I think about it. Like I'm on cloud nine about it because I can't tell you how much money I spent on lessons and how many lessons I've had. And the fact that it was a six month wait for both tests. So bad. was just hell. We've been, we were in our second Ramadan together, me and my instructor. And I, oh I, my I God. Do it this time. She gets so hungry at the end. When you get round to the, the days, second year. When the it's days a lot. get so long, she's oh lesser. She's doing her God. best. No one could manage that. Blaby. So listen, I, what? Blaby. <laughs> Is that what you meant to say? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you do mean Blaby. 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 Um, I don't even mind it. Listen, here's the thing. Can I tell you all about it? Yeah, you're going to buy a um, car now. Oh, no, forget that part. I don't know about <laughs> that, but we have to figure out our podcast situation. But this is the situation. Actually, Andrew, do you know how to buy a car? Uh, n- not really. <gasps> oh, I, mean, I, I do. Can... No, but like, do you know the ways in which one could buy a car? Like, oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sunil Patel and Sean McLaughlin went to buy a car for Sean together. And what they did is they both wore suits and drove out to Walton on Thames. Christ. They were like, Christ. that's where they'll respect they us. They both wore suits. They, they, wore, they wore full suits and then went to a car dealership because <laughs> they thought they'd get more respect. <laughs> I, I could understand that if it was like a Jaguar dealership or a Ferrari no, or something. No, it's like used, used cars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Walton on 10th. <laughs> Did the dealership think that they were trying to sell them cars? <laughs> like two business boys, what's up? <laughs> I just mean like there's ways you can do it where like you get a loan, right? And you don't, you you change it every two years. What's that called? Leasing. Oh, you're leasing, leasing, yeah. Is that good? Uh, it depends what, what you what you want really. I you, want if there's need. something wrong with it for it to go away again and for them to give me a different car. Well, yeah, probably leasing's the the least stress for you then but it will probably will work out a bit more expensive yeah but i don't want to get stuck on a motorway by myself well that can still happen whenever you drive yeah but i want somebody else to have to be in charge of it like to fix the situation i think Catherine you, you, would like you, a so you'd still be in charge of that situation we want breakdown cover for mm. that um and then for i suppose yeah if it's if there's a leasing issue i suppose that's that's probably better for you well, she enjoyed passing that test for a whole two minutes. Okay, no, 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 no,
Comedian. <laughs> <laughs> um, Emphatic spineless. Yes, face. absolutely. I did everything that he wanted. And also he was like, um, <laughs> at one point he was like, what did he say that he was like, oh, he said something that was slightly like, ooh. And I was like, ooh. Oh, but, God. Um, you know, the way they always do. Um, uh-huh. But he he loved Alan Davies. So when he found out that I'd done the Alan Davies show. Oh, my I God. I mean, did I get no faults or did I just charm them? Charm <laughs> Benny. Who's to say? Uh, he was lovely. My maneuver, lol, this is how nice he was to me. What my was my maneuver, maneuver was pulling on the right and reverse back two cars lengths. That's barely a maneuver, man. I thought a maneuver was like a parallel park. Indeed. I would. I am brilliant at, but I didn't get show off. Um, and I'm so, yeah. So proud of you. Oh, my God. When I got back, he did this like dramatic reveal. He was like, he said my full name, middle name, and everything. Mary Joseph. He was like, Catherine Mary Joseph Bohart. <laughs> and then he turned the pad around and he was like, Zero Ball! Oh, I was like, Ah! Betty! And the three children who'd been in waiting to go out with their tests, oh. who had all failed. So my driving instructor was like, Oh my God, I was terrified waiting for you because they all failed. No. It was really sad because two of them prayed in the waiting room. Oh, prayed. No. Raid! Oh. I know. I was like, "Oh my goodness! I guess it's not real. I guess God, so I guess I passed and God doesn't exist." <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Takes a special type of sweet woman to gloat in front of children. Disappointed. <laughs> you go fuck yourselves, whore. My pass. I'm learning I'm I- with Alan Davies. You fucking piece of shit. Good luck <laughs> at your GCSEs. I'm 34 and God ain't real. Bye. It was great. It was so nice. I really felt jubilant. Afterwards. My mum doesn't have to check my Instagram friends. <laughs> anyway, I called my dad on the way home. He was so oh, happy. Really cute. I'm such an adult. I called my dad immediately. Oh, you must. Oh, look, it was just brilliant. I still am euphoric about it, mainly because I didn't know if I could do, I didn't know if I could hold my nerve during it. And the only reason... Oh, I, we were all nervous. Like, I think oh, yeah. I think on behalf of M. Andrew reason, and the entire hog community. Yeah, yeah, the reason I passed, I genuinely think, is that I needed to be talking the whole time and I got an, uh, an, like an examiner who let me. Yeah, a if chatty I, one. Sitting in silence is as much of a test for me as the oh. driving. So I don't need them both at the same time. Preach. Deeply uncomfortable. So it was just so nice. And he just let me drive him around and it was lovely. And I wanted to keep him safe as well, to be fair, which probably made me a better driver. Benny sounds like a sweet man. And thank you for passing our sweet lovely. girl. Thank you, Benny. And also Benny is like 65 and um, could be retired, but he just likes the job. Oh, and also at one point I said um, that some, but some I, so I said a comedian was nice which is surprising for older male comedians. <laughs> and then I said, no offense. And then he was like, do you think I'm a comedian or do you think I'm old? And then I was like, when do you think you failed your driving test, Catherine? Was it when you called the examiner incredibly old? And then he laughed and laughed and then thankfully we got away with it. But I That's was like, That's the yeah. thing with your sweet chatting, Catherine, <laughs> is sometimes the chatting keeps There's going. There's no filter. <laughs> <laughs> But my coffee lady, the lady on my road who runs a, co- a coffee shop, found out it was my driving test for my instructor and wrote good luck and two kisses on the top of my coffee lid. And then when it came back out, God, you really make it a whole community's project, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ellen says I'm like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, but yeah. <laughs> I need success. Me too. Me too. <laughs> she didn't say it with an easier part, but it's inferred. I think. <laughs> I think she thinks I'm Belle from Beauty and the Beast just because I talk to my neighbours and the local. Business you don't owners. talk to your neighbours. You go over there to work out and have evenings in. Listen, I just <laughs> want to talk. I just want to know the com- Yes, I like a community vibe. Anyway, um, shout out to Timmy for my gorgeous coffee. And then when I was, came back, she was waiting outside afterwards to find out, and we had a big hug. It was real sweet. What a lovely time I passed my test I was honestly I actually can't talk about it Without getting so excited I'm so relieved it's over you guys It was so much of my life Look It's over You did it And now life is going to be Super easy from now onwards Everything else (laughs) Everything else in your life Has been sorted out Okay You own property No I don't You're married No I'm not (laughs) Your your podcast has a studio no, and a base doesn't. that it works from. Well, it might. We, we've You've been a booked for one. all your shows no, and I tour haven't. for the next two years. No. And you're not always looking to see when the next paycheck is coming in, despite the fact that you're putting money into comedy at the moment by renting out a studio. So I think you're thriving. Should we have on a guest? Love you so much. Don't cry. It's Kyle, Kyle Smith Bino. We've started. Welcome, it's- Kyle. Welcome. Yay. Hi. Sorry the chair is falling down. What's with your necklace? What's with it? <laughs> yeah. What's with yours? Well, I'm not wearing one, Kyle. Well, is that a you should trick have thought question? of that. I didn't look down. You didn't trick me. What's up with your drama Wow, this necklace? is already intense. Um, what do you I- think? Are you dramatic? 
Uh, in some aspects. Yeah. I, can I ask? Um, yes. Are you two faced? Uh, yes. um, it's actually not a drama necklace. It's called the Masks of Comedy and Tragedy. I believe it stems from Venetian history. You're welcome. Don't feel bad if you don't know that. Wow. Um, <laughs> and it represents like the two forms of drama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it makes you. Makes you look like you're two faced and dramatic, and that makes me want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Like, bitch. Yes. It's worked. It's worked. Yeah. Um, yeah. I bought you presents. What? Because you can't it. just be late and empty handed. You know 20 I mean? minutes late. Oh my God, who cares? He brought his presents. 20 Helen, minutes Helen, late. You love gifts. I love did gifties. Forget the, did you forget this? Presents! <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't put your hand down there. The camera what doesn't pick up that there's a bag and it just looks like you're harassing the guest. I'm yeah, sorry. Oh I'm my God. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick two things from here. First, and then you... the re- I mean, it's all yours, sure. But I feel. Did like... you buy us gifts or did you just buy like anything you could find at WH Smith? I bought you gifts. Okay, oh amazing. Specifically. Amazing. Whoa. So, um, oh, it's going to be random stuff, isn't it? Like junk, and he's just lying. It's to us. not junk. Okay, I just don't know what your personal preferences or tastes are. Then it's outrageous. I've <laughs> tried to buy us gear, but I, I welcome them. Let's see if you're right. We haven't had a man in this space for a I mean, while. I don't, to, I, don't know, I don't know how to do this. Do I go like who goes? I'd first give it to me top, first. Top I'd left or I'd give it to her first. I'd go for me first. And how you pick what the thing is? <laughs> oh yeah, might as well. Lucky dip. Helen, oh. Helen, Helen. Stop touching everything. Oh my God. Oh my God, you did so I love well. Maltesers. You've done so I got the well. fun size bag of Maltesers, 102 grams. You've, you've absolutely nailed that. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I, I'm not as comfortable putting my hand in a man's bag. There's one furry <laughs> thing in there and one wet. That's I'll all I'll say. Wet? One wet, one furry. Ah! No, you're good. <laughs> That's the and best you also option. get all the rest of the stuff. But there's something specific for you. Oh my god, yes. Based on something that you told Helen. me the other day. What oh. did I tell you the other day? Did you hang out without me? <gasps> what is that? Feminax Express <gasps> targets period pain fast. He's I'm a, a feminist. I'm a Thank you so what much. There? Right, just bits and bobs. My cunt's not gonna hurt this month. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> Helen! I, you, okay, you can either have small M&Ms, <laughs> small Skittles, or large Skittles. Okay, I'll have. I'm yeah. an ally. I yeah. actually want these. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Do you want those? Um, if they're going. I because neither you, of you were excited you, about them. I'm excited about oh, them. Okay. Wait, you bring us a gift and you want the gift back? If there's a blue one going, I'll take it. No, I don't want that. That's if disgusting. If have these, I'll take... Give me those. Okay. Um, thank gift you. Back for you. But you know what? For context, you did you you did mention this. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not a freak. <laughs> yeah. You're not a... T- I you mean, didn't just sniff iron in the air. I'll put no. it in the air. I'll put it out there. It still think it's a strong choice of a gift. Huge call. It's, Huge it's, call. It's feminism. I, could I say that it feels like a feminism step sometimes a bit too far? Sometimes. No, li- listen, I think it feels like um, you're a lot. Okay. And if I was in your company and, okay. and you said, uh, as you probably will have something like a, I'm bleeding. Is that right? It was, it was yeah. very much like yeah. that. I'd have thought, how do I make it less angry? I'm frightened. I do think for women in general, like part of us trying to strive towards what we're working towards, which is obviously, first of all, free the nipple and um, second equal pay. But really, let's get, let's get the nipple done, girls. Let's get what we need to first. <laughs> Please free the nipple and then we'll deal with all the other injustices. Um, this 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 helps me be a better me. Does it actually work? I personally usually just take ibuprofen, so I'll be interested to see. So, no. Listen, okay, listen, I don't want um I my girlfriend's dad is a GP and okay. he says that uh, Feminex just has less ibuprofen and more other stuff that you don't really need in it. But and it is like four times the price. But like, in many ways, same you hear that? same as you paying four like a tampon tax. But it isn't nice. a pink box. It is. Which does make me feel more secure that the product was made for me. That's true. You know? Hey, you right came here not to talk about this at all, but I wonder no. if I wonder if <laughs> Could you people... imagine if you had? <laughs> <laughs> if you were like no, the face of fam- I'll Feminex. I'll come on trusty hogs, but I really like it's important for me that I discuss with you women's hygiene products. It is important for me, but also it was important that I get to keep these the M&Ms. M&Ms. Yep. Kyle, uh, how much money would you have to be paid to do an ad for Feminix? Interesting question, What do I have Catherine? to do in the advert? You just say, hey ladies, do you have your period? Have I got the product for you? Oh, And then you hold this up the This sounds like box. a voiceover. Then you hold up the box. No, you're on camera. Oh, no. hold, you've been walking through a park the whole time. Right, right, right. And then I thought that was sort of clear. Sorry. And then um, didn't you hear the birds? And then you're um, you get to the camera and then you hold up the feminax and you say, "You're welcome." Ooh. Oh, your welcome's tough. You're welcome. I was with you until you're welcome. You're welcome. I couldn't do that. 
Okay. Really? Four hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. Okay. Can I You're offer welcome. you a <laughs> Can I offer you a period advert and yeah, see? Sure. Okay. Um. Okay. You're playing tennis in a tiny little tennis skirt. Okay. Cute. Adorable. Love that for you. Adorable. And you and the gals are like having an apparel spritz afterwards. Uh -huh. Your face contorts. No from one pain. calls it an apparel spritz. Yeah, that's insane. But <laughs> like. I'll, I'll apparel spritz. No, no, no. The, the orange drink with the fizz in it, you idiot. Apparel. Is that the apparel? Apparel. 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 That's horrible. Apparel spritz feels like the little brand. <laughs> Sorry, I have dyslexia, and I feel like we should allow room Do for people have with ears? learning difficulties. Are you a hearing woman? <laughs> 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 apparel spritz. Right. So you've been playing tennis. Yes. You and the gals are sitting down for an apparel. Apparel. Yeah. Apparel. 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 Spritz. <laughs> right. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Perfect. Your face <laughs> contorts in pain. We zoom in through your body into your womb. Oh, no. Okay. And we see it all contorting and contracting with right. blue blood because it's just better that way. Don't gross okay. out the men, Kyle. It's uncomfortable for them. Yeah. Okay. And then we zoom back out and you're having one Feminax and you smile down the lens, cheers the Aperol spritz and go, Feminax, not just for me, for you too. <laughs> <laughs> My only issue with that is okay. the drink. Really? really? If I could pick another drink. Then what I'd if we call it Aperol and not Apparel? Um, then I'm still no. Then still no, actually. Wow. Well, what um, drink what would you link to a period? Indeed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but two separate juice. questions. <laughs> cranberry juice. <laughs> you just want a cranberry juice? The Serrano and cranberry juice. Serrano and cranberry juice. Mm, please, if possible. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I've got a bottle of port in you my bag. You get a lot of UTIs. No. <laughs> Do I what? Do you, get a, do you have a UTI? Uh, not that I know of. Why are you drinking? Have you had the Serrano and cranberry juice? It tastes like cherry bakewell. <gasps> because that's the <sighs> almond. Yeah. Oh, he's a genius. Wow, we're learning that's so much genius. from you didn't him. You know I was going to be educational. You thought I was going to come in and do bloody jokes. Sorry, my <laughs> mind is blown. Whoa. You're welcome. Whoa. I think you'd advertise period products. I'm trying to think what like item you would advertise best. Mm. Like for me, I think I could advertise like any sort of like kids' toys. Right. Like I think like we haven't advertised trampolines yet with a big woman with a cracking pair of wabs. Like I think that's just inherently funny. <laughs> like just me screaming like it hurts, but it's fun. Um, <laughs> like stuff like that. You could do that cherry bakewell drink. I was in. Yeah. You could yeah. work for for ocean spray. I, oh, I can uh, skateboard like the like the guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, the, yeah, over the cranberry water. Spray. Wait, oh. what? What? Hello? <laughs> no. The guy that did in lockdown was skating. Um, He was like maybe in his 40s and he was skating the cranberry on field. skateboard to Fleetwood Mac drinking cranberry juice. Whoa. I don't remember that. And then they sent him like every flavor ever. <gasps> no way. You've got to know what I'm talking about. But you're not in your 40s. How do you know? I can just tell. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Yet. Yet. Hey, questions. Mm-hmm. You're doing a new, I, I feel like you know about Feminax partly because of Helen, but also presumably it sounds like you've been working around, if I might, a lot of ladies. That was a good segue. Thank that was, you. That was so good. Thank Ten you. Point. That's why you got this. You made a new show. <laughs> you made a new show with creator of her own sex toy line, Lily Allen. Has she? Lily's got her own yeah, sex toy girl, line. She, I love her. Can you please Google it? She had her I own vibrator. That. I'm pretty sure she had her own vibrator. Oh, good for her. Know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. so, she hasn't mentioned that. You'd oh, think that would, would be like a gift to the rest of the cast. Yeah, the rap gift. <laughs> That'd be so Give cool. it out at the end of the shoot. I'd be furious if my rap gift was a vibrator designed by a fellow cast member. Hmm. I mean, I'd be furious personally because I wouldn't get to use it yeah, the what are you going everyone else does. But yeah. Um, oh, there's a many things you can do with vibrators. Go on. Taint, butthole, ears and erogenous zone that people always forget about. And then also just holding it and sort of massaging it and pretending you're doing something just like mentally. Next. I guess, <laughs> I guess you could also velvetize hot chocolate. Ooh. Well, how much Honey, do you think you they need were? A yeah, for that. How much do you think they were? That the, if it's worrying that much, then I'd say don't it's it shouldn't be a vibrator. Really? I'm saying that's gonna do some damage. If it could whip you. I've your... seen some whoppers in my time. Really? Yeah. Why you can't even use them? No, but I've seen them. On bedside tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you bedside mean. tables? Yes. yes. Are you fucking pros? That's crazy. <laughs> or just like 
oh, the the they're in there, yeah. and then open the drawer Wouldn't and they'd be it? like, what and the hell is this machine? Gosh. Yeah, because some of them are like really intense. Because like my housemate Sunil obviously got a Thera gun, you know, for massaging oh, yeah, body rah, rah, rah. parts. But I'm not allowed to use it when he's not there because he's worried I'm going to blast my clit off. And <laughs> yeah, he is concerned about that because it, it could blast. Also you. hygiene. Blast also hygiene. Off. Blast like, off. You're going to blast your clit off, love. If you use that, yeah. Speaking of dramatic twists, <laughs> and that is my only other segue. Um, <laughs> so this one better work. Um, goodness, you have a new show on 9 p.m. on April 6th. 6th. On which channel? Sky. Sky. <laughs> and it's called Dreamland. Dreamland. And yeah. you're excited about it. I am, but quite annoyingly, that's on at the same time as my other show that's on at 9 p.m. on Thursday. Oh, Taskmaster Clang. Clang. He's opening his m and peanuts. He's so excited. Fuck off. What a life. Um, yeah, but I'd, That's so cool. I'd rather it wasn't, you know? Yeah, no, I know. But like, as problems go. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the oh, biggest. Oh, no. My Sky show with Lily <laughs> Allen is on at the same time as when I'm on Taskmaster. Mm. It's not like a no, bad my week. Pain. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's not like a bad week. No, it's not. It's good. Did you enjoy it? I'll never work again. Um, <laughs> yeah, I loved it. It's, Did you? It's, um, it's a lot of fun, but also I'm sort of worried. Why? Oh, right. Does some because things go like, wrong? It's just me. It's so me. It's like um, it's me walking out naked into the streets for 10 weeks. <laughs> Quite exposing. Yeah. Quite exposing. And, and just yeah. which episode are you actually nude in? Just if we were going to tune in to say one. Like... Uh, seven, for example. Nice. Get that Therogon out. Get that Therogon out. I'm going to blast my clit off. No, I'm so, sorry. I'm better than that. And I don't know. You actually led me down yeah, that I'm path. Sorry, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. um, tell me about Dreamland, though. Is it true it's set in Margate? It is true. I That's love a, Margate. <laughs> Every single lesbian couple I know has had a row in Margate. A row? Really? Thank you, Em. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, they yeah. go there to have the rows. We go there to have the rows. You I, did? You had a breakup in Margate on Valentine's a, Day. I don't know a single I've person. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she points her double fingers at me because she thinks it's gay. Um, <laughs> Is it not an allyship? She thinks right. it's fingering. Okay. Um, look, uh, I don't one know. One on the pink, one on the stink. Easy access. No? Stop not like okay. that. <laughs> Why don't I be like, oh. I'm not, uh, like, <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You can't point I'm straight. I'm straight. I wouldn't know. I once worked with a guy who pointed like that. No. Yeah. Like he's going to say come here, but he decided to yeah. say come. He's like you. Whoa. Yeah. Did he have like a tendon issue? Like an issue with No, he just enjoyed pointing. For anyone yeah. who's just listening, Kyle's pointing with his palm facing yeah. the heavens. I forgot we're Horrible. not just doing it for M. Yeah, I know. Hi M. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so okay, so the show is set in Margate, that's mm -hmm. all I know so far. Yeah. Lily Allen's. You're there. being really professional about this. Look, you brought you we brought you here. <laughs> I almost said you, you brought, brought yourself here. I, She's I, you freaking brought, out. No, I was going to say you brought gifts because you're late. You're being very nice. I think the least we could do is promote your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I've got to do the show. And people, no offense, I've already heard of Taskmaster. So tell us about Dreamland. <laughs> um, Dreamland is set in Margate. It's about yeah. four sisters who... Which um, one do you play? Um, the <laughs> oldest and the youngest. Yeah! <laughs> Thank we you. love a multi-roller. Lily range. Allen's the other two. <laughs> um, Are they adopted? We'll get them, I know. <laughs> and I'm the husband of the eldest sister, played by Freema Adjman. <gasps> I love her. She's, um, a dream? She's incredible. Oh. Imagine if you said anything else. Imagine if you're like, she's such a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. But she's a, but she's a good actor. Yeah, that's um, all you want. Yeah, she's, she's an outstanding actress. Actually, Amazing. And actor. Yes, oh, no, thank you. Done. No, it's okay. You can say whatever feels right for you at the time. <laughs> um, question: Were you actually filming in Margate though, or were you filming like in London and then it was just like set in Margate? Uh, the exterior was in Margate. Yes, yes. fabulous. See, that's the thing. I want to get a job that films in Disney World, but I don't want to end up being Helen, fobbed off at some you, studio babe. in LA. Oh yeah, it's not about me. But like, if you hear of any going yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm in Hollywood? In, in Holly I think you go to Hollywood. Do you? you not go I mean, I went... Don't can I can base this off the fact that I saw you wearing one Disneyland spirit jersey, which I know you have to be at Disney's California Adventure to buy. That's Whoa. True. Yeah. That is <laughs> true. That's where I got it from. Crazy. Yeah. Um, Though I know you've been Hollywood. What's yeah. the role? Okay. Um, <laughs> the husband. What's his vibe? Keep is, he up. Like, is he a nice guy? Uh, listen. What's the, what's good the guys make the bad show? decisions. Ooh. Spoken like a true bad guy. And what's um what's the show about? It's about sisters. Yes, mm. what else? <laughs> the sisters and It's not um, just them doing their family tree the whole time. They have to do other things. <laughs> yeah, it's like DNA journey. <laughs> <laughs> um the eldest the eldest sister 
Trish, played by Freema, is expecting her third child with her husband, <gasps> Spence, played by K.L. Smith Minor. Nice. What? And then... Um, Spence, sounds like a dick. Yeah, well... Uh, good Spence. guys do bad things, Catherine. That's true. Mm, not Spence. That's my new motto. Spence's are douchebags. I mean, really? What do you think? Tough. What, what if his name was Spencer? Oh, sad nerd. Worse. Sad nerd. Sad really? nerd. Yeah, but really? is that worse or better? You decide. I think, I think better. Really? Mm. So um, her husband, Spencer, um, <laughs> he, uh, they are expecting a, their third child. Mm-hmm. And then an estranged, not estranged, uh, she went away for a bit and came back. Uh, returning? Prodigal? Prodigal, thank you. Is that really the word for it? Prodigal? Yeah, haven't you like read the Bible? prodding? No, prodigal. Prodigal, no yeah. Mm. Aperol? Prodigal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prodigal sister returns with a bombshell. <gasps> <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Is that is that Lily? Yeah. And you mustn't travel with a bomb. No, you mustn't. <laughs> oh, we just a bit. That's just old school banter. Her wife's home with a bombshell, and suddenly we're in World War Two. Like now, that is a TV <laughs> show. Do they time travel in it? Oh yeah, season two. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it's really well acted. Is it? Um, I think everyone. I went to the screen and watched uh, episode one and two, and obviously I watched Such it. Such a relief if you think it's good and you're in it. I think that's like a huge sign because you yeah. you're so critical when you're in things yourself. I find. Yeah, I mean good. the first time I'm not actually watching anyone else apart from. Of course, yeah, of course. Of course. Um, but second time around, I still enjoyed it. Nice. And then I saw it at the screen in on a big screen, and then thought, I should have, I should have popped that spot. <laughs> oh no, nightmare! Where nightmare. was it? Forehead. Uh, Bloody cheek. cheek. Yeah. Gonna get the you. bloody cheek of it. Duh. <laughs> Very We're going droll. to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good to have nice banter. Do you know what I mean? It well, it sounds amazing. And it sounds like uh, it's time. For a listener problem. I think you're going to be very you're good at this. An MP can I get now? in the blue ones? Yeah, get in there. Um, can, I what, just... well, can I just quickly check? What's this blue one thing? Right. So That's mad. <laughs> if anyone is listening, Kyle said, I want a blue M&M peanut. And he poured out onto his hand two orange peanuts and five blue ones without any sorting. Just get what I you want. the just orange. Manifest it. <laughs> right. I'm... Okay, no. I was going to manifest something really disgusting then. Um, I would like us to... I'm going to manifest it. I don't okay, want to have please. another shit today. There we go. Whoa. How many have you had? I've had, I've had one. Oh, right. Fine. But it really took the wind out of my sails. Ed MacArthur, who I do a show with. I was with Ed on Friday. I've seen you your were. show. And me. Uh, no, you weren't. <laughs> um, he once, in a rehearsal day, did eight. Eight poos and Blue one M&Ms. day. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Who's got a bloody keep up now? Um, <laughs> can we do a taste I've test, Since I've turned please? into my 30s, yes. if I have more than one poo, it really ties me out. I hate anyway, let's do a taste test. Can we do a taste test? Shall I blind myself? Yeah. Is that okay? I, I know that's not a orange. segment of your show, but um, I'd like you to, because some people say oh. that the blue ones uh, don't taste any different. And I think they have to, because nothing in nature is blue. Um, pick which one you want. Um, Eat that. And then, yeah, go for it. Nom, 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 Wait, nom, keep nom. your eyes closed. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, no, you have to, because you don't know what color. Tastes like um, a peanut M&M. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. And then the other one. Please. Honestly, it tastes like a yellow coating. Okay. Interesting. I mean, mm-hmm. Okay, now from your response, I think this one's yellow, and I just put a blue one in. Okay. Nom. Okay, you're very good at hiding mystery. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. Catherine's gone quiet because I figured her out. <laughs> no, I'm waiting to see what it is. Nom, 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 nom. That one tastes. Can I be? Can I be real? Yeah. Please be honest. That one tasted like a brown casing. Right. Okay. Wow. But if you had to pick a blue out of the two. Out of the two, it would have been the first one. Okay. Can I open my eyes? Yes. Mm. Can I look at my teeth? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want the first one on this side more. <laughs> Just in case there was a mirror option, but there isn't. But do they taste different to you? They did taste different, okay, yeah. Okay, because some people, people on the internet, say that the, all of the M&Ms are the same. Who? Most people. Freaks. They are all the same. They say they're all, pardon me? They all taste the same to me. Do you, I'll let you two out. Which one was the blue <laughs> one? Second. Damn it. What was the first one? Brown. I'm an idiot. Orange. Orange. Sorry. <laughs> Orange. And I said yellow. I, I, I can't believe uh, you lied to her. I forgot. I forgot and <laughs> I just lost her and thought. I'm only <laughs> little. You mustn't lie to women. It's just that I forgot and then I looked at her and then I thought about her poo and then I said brown. Which one? How do you know it's brown? Oh, stop it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was that. a very heavy red wine night of mine. I hate <laughs> you. Actually, I went to so Nonna's much. restaurant last Can night. Can you shut up? I don't want to hear about your poo. I no, don't. but Nonna's restaurant isn't. The, I didn't poo at Nonna's. Is that the Polish place? 
No, Sunil decided to cook as an Italian old woman for me last night. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, oh, welcome to Anonna's house. Oh, nice. No. And um, housemate's called Sunil. He's no, really No, he knows Sunil. They did a short together. I like that guy. He's mean. We don't like him. Really? Well, he's mean to Helen sometimes. Well, Helen's kind of mean to him, but he doesn't like it. And that's kind of moaning. I'm no longer allowed to touch <laughs> his head. Apparently, I ruined really? his hair. Yeah. I'd love to watch you guys at home but without you knowing that i'm watching everyone wants that they're just it's a lot of like sibling play fighting and running right. around and since he's installed a <laughs> lock and key on his door like the games end a lot quicker why has he done that because i'm not allowed in his roomie just to say hello <laughs> how close your rooms close it's just the two of us in the flat like there's a bathroom between us but right do you live alone um no wow that was a man who did not want to answer any follow-up <laughs> questions. I totally respect it. Um, ask me no more personal questions. Well, I won't then, Kaya. Um, I'm ready for a problem now. I've told them about we'll Nonna's, no my poo, and yeah. the peanut M&Ms. Okay. Yeah. I can are you having right. a lovely time, or do you hate this podcast? I honestly am. <laughs> um, Could I just say, yeah. Ghosts won a Chorter Award. I was the only person that attended. <gasps> I got the award. <laughs> Tessa was like, can I take it home? Tessa Coates. Yeah. So can I take it home? And I was like... She's kept it. Yeah. Never seen it since. <laughs> is she in Ghost? No. What the fuck? I fucking love Tessa Coates. <laughs> Tessa Coates has got the Ghost Award. And um, <laughs> mem She's amazing. members of the Ghost cast are like, what, is that? what happened? whatever happened to that full award? And I can't tell them that Tessa Coates has got it. So they just think you're hogging it? Yeah. Also so when... sad last series of Ghosts. Yeah, sorry. Oh. I love it so How much. How do you feel about it? No, it's got to end, isn't it? You've got to end on a high. I get it. You've got to end it. And also, like, how many more summers can you spend in Guildford? I understand. I wish it was bloody summer. Am I right? <laughs> Here we go. That's not a problem. Guildford? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Catherine is not focused then, but I am. Absolute. She's not focused. Okay. Ready? Um, so this is from Dee. Hi, Dee. Hi, Dee. My problem Hi. is I've always found it hard to make and keep friends. Uh, I usually find it really embarrassing, but as I've grown older, I see that I have quality over quantity and I've grown more confident in myself. Great. However, I am definitely seen as a friend for bad times. Uh, a lot of them really lean on me when they're having problems for advice, support, company, but seem to forget me when things are going well. <laughs> Even my best friend who I speak to every day openly admits that she forgets to invite me to fun group things because I'm a separate friend. Oh my fact, God. I went to uni with them. Mm. Um, I also find that people are happy to cancel on me because they know I'll understand. Mm. Uh, my oldest friend just announced two days before that she wouldn't be coming to my baby shower that I'd rearrange so she could make because she had too much on. I'm glad she feels safe with me. And that people feel I'm a safe place in a storm. But how do I get people to appreciate that I actually have big stuff on too and would like to sometimes have fun times slash be celebrated? Can I just say something? First of all, you've yeah. got lovely energy about you. Doesn't she? It's Doesn't great. she? I can feel it through, oh, that, through the glass. Through the glass. Guess it's fantastic. What? Emma's in this gorgeous, soothing, serene mood as she always often is. And she's got a lovely presence. Having been up at 6.30 to chef this morning. Insane. Insane. I would never have known. I thought you got up half an hour ago. Glowing. I don't know Glowing. what that means. Glowing. Um, I don't know also, the either, hey. as that as you were reading that, I thought they hate your boyfriend. And <gasps> then I heard baby shower and I was like, they fucking hate your boyfriend. Whoa. That is such I had not even thought about that. It's first the only thing I thought of. Do we know if they have a yeah. sexual relationship or is it like a baby shower, like having baby by themselves or with There's a actually no information about that. We don't no idea. Don't know. You're assuming boyfriend though. Oh, but, is that the, but, but partner, they hate your Because we partner. were talking about this. Do you mm. remember like an hour ago? Mm -hmm. And I was saying like, everyone's got like a friend's partner who they have to just like tolerate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it does make you back out of stuff. <gasps> oh, you're a detective. Well, you know. I think your friends are being trash, to be honest, is my first response, which is yes. like, I understand that there are friends that I definitely go to for certain things. <clears throat> yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Catherine loves I right. You love her, people having breakdowns around you, so yes, we do gravitate Don't towards you. Don't you keep telling me. But <laughs> then why do you cook so much? <laughs> because you're always sad, and it's food cheers you up. <laughs> food cheers you up. <laughs> And also, Helen, if I may, sometimes you'll come to the house and be like, all I've had today is like seven Domino's pizzas and two bottles of wine this week. And I'll be like, okay, Fasting. well, how about I cook you, cook you a vegetable? Like, I sometimes do it because like, it seems like you have scurvy or something. Like, you're sad maybe because you don't have any... <laughs> gark, gark, gark. <laughs> it's bark. <laughs> um, I am fascinated by your theory about this boyfriend situation. Mm. I think that's a really good, really good shout. I think also... um. 
I would be interested to know what your energy is. I, believe it or not, don't get invited to a lot of fun times either. <sighs> I'm very much a, uh, a <laughs> tough time friend too. You but, are a tough time and good time friend, I'd but say. But I wonder if... Thank you. I think Where do you live? West London. Oh, fuck. I know. But my girlfriend lives in East London, so I, I'll be oh, there a lot. What kind of East, though? That cool um, East. What Hackney. borough? Hackney. Hackney. You know her. <laughs> do I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whisper to me. We've like Ellen to... from Brittany. Ellen Robertson. We've met. We've met. We've been out several times with you together. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Ashling's party? Yeah, I just didn't know. You thought we were just like gabbing downstairs, like gal, gal pals. Yeah. You thought we were friends. Honestly, I was there for ages as well. Sometimes they go home and lick each other out, and I know it's insane to think about, but it does happen. It is insane. To think. I know it is, isn't it? Don't. Think and about then you it. think about it and then you get annoyed because you don't think about it and they're pissed off as well. <laughs> what can I think about? Where can I look? <laughs> you know, there's no winning in this day and age. <laughs> you know what? I get mean... me on Joe Rogan. I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> what a fantastic <laughs> pairing. <laughs> I love that. Thank I do you, love darling. that. Thank you, darling. Um, As having experienced Catherine as a good time friend at parties. Um, yeah, you right. definitely remember it. Don't at all. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my party. We'd love to. Yeah. We'd love to. But, you know, my point being, I think sometimes it's based on your energy, which is to say that I wouldn't invite me to a lot of fun times because, let's be honest, if it's dirty, I don't want to go. If it's sticky, I don't want to go. If it's not really thoroughly planned out, I don't want to go. Oh, hang on. Tell <laughs> me about that last bit. Yeah. As in, like... It took I... me a year to get her to go to the Rainforest Cafe with me. And it was awful. What I'm saying to you about like not really organized is like I don't want to go to your house for a party that's like everyone's gonna bring a beer and we don't have a plan well, that is the plan everyone <laughs> brings a beer <laughs> I know Kyle um, I know that is the but plan have you tidied what? your house before I get there tidied like are we doing food Catherine does dinner parties. What if we get hungry? <laughs> she does themed dinner parties I just like, what if we get hungry Kyle who's, who's, are, is there a food plan well the party's not gonna start till 10 so eat before you come <laughs> She has to start her skincare nighttime routine at 9 30. What time are you thinking? Seven. She's, <laughs> oh, she's losing it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, no, I'll it. say nine, get there at 10. Pussy licking start 10 15, man. She's got to be gone. <laughs> is can i speak on behalf of you for a bit so i'll see you guys for brunch the next day wow she's more like a nice dinner party but like people have like dressed up like you're mm. not really going to an event with Catherine if it's like you're going from something else you know what i mean like really? she will gig in full party outfit yeah so she can just go straight to the party earlier okay so what happens if you go to something and then everyone's like oh we're gonna go to this thing now and they, 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 they just decided They're like oh yeah like, oh, this isn't really the vibe. We're going to go somewhere else. It depends on how many drinks I've had. There is a precise moment you could catch me where I might come with you. As long as we're Ubering, I'm not walking. I've seen this in motion when we once started walking somewhere. She found out it was five minutes longer than she thought. And she refused to move until we all get in the Uber. What, what is it? I was Do you love your house? Heels. I was wearing heels. Yeah, yeah my head was gorgeous. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, I rent, but I made that place really homey. Right. Um, no, it's also like I've you never, fully I've never worn a sensible shoe. When we're going out, ever. So if you tell me it's a seven minute walk, I can get my he my head around that mentally. Mm -hmm. If you say it's a seven-ish minute walk and then it turns out to be 17, go fuck yourself. Fair. You know what I mean? Fair. Is there a chance that our sweet little problem person is a bit of a Catherine? Is there a chance that we're dealing with a bit of a Catherine? That's what I'm wondering. Like, are they like? Also, sometimes I think if you're like a little bit, if you're like a very intimidatingly good host, sometimes people don't invite you back. Intimidatingly good host. Sometimes people don't want to invite you back because they're like. Uh, what if you're can't... hosting at someone else's house? No, like if, if they don't want to have you at their stuff because you've been too impressive a host. That's what my mom says. Sometimes happens maybe to me. Oh. <laughs> Because I don't have friends Kyle, to invite speak, me to please. <laughs> um, That's nice that she says that. Yeah, she's nice. She also says freckles are uh, the sun kissing your face. They are. They're kisses from the sun. 
so maybe that's it. Maybe you're just too impressive a friend, babe. I think your friends are being dick. Yeah, yeah I say think more so. on I this. Think you say have more to on this. But there's got to be at least one friend that you can take to a side and be like, "What's what's going on? What's up?" Huh. Surely there's one friend at least that you can speak to. That, honestly that's the thing and we all have friends that we go into like i i do have friends that naturally the the chats can be more intense like i've got a set not you another friend of mine who like we do have very intense you have chat. a more intense yeah i do actually oh, i want we, no we, like, we get into the meat of stuff but like we're still able to have and, and now i'm saying this out loud i'm realizing that maybe i should have more fun with her as well but like okay you know what we is, all need to do is it emma black no, no, it's, a, it's a, a woman I used to work with, actually, like you, a good friend of mine. So maybe you should take her out for a nice evening. I should take her out for a nice evening, bit yeah. Fun. Bit of fun. Bowling. No, that's the thing. That was just Because you wouldn't go. This is the thing. They can't clean the finger holes. And I don't want to borrow shoes. So what, is, what, what does this person need to do? The There's hole. no way they're getting those clean. There's got to be a way to clean them. No, because they think? just go round and round, don't they? Yeah, but... <laughs> Why, it's finger juice. There's got to be a way to get to get those clean. How? You can clean anything, can't you? How? Uh, you can if you can train it. Can, you can, can train I? an ant. What? There was a guy on on set. Huh? I can't remember what I was doing. But I was doing some job, and he, I was like, "What? You can train?" I think it was like a spider on set or something. And I was like, "You can Ugh. train a spider?" And he was like, "Yeah, you can train anything." And I was like, "What do you mean anything?" He was like, "You can train any any what animal. It's a just man? a reward system." No, you no, cannot. you cannot train no, no, no. a man. But it's just a reward system. So I am. Good so, um, can you note down that I need to get an ant <laughs> after this, please? <laughs> Guess who's got a new bloody hobby? Here I fucking come. Can they collect me things? Yeah. Ho, 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 ho! I'm gonna get an ant army this summer barbecuing for me. This is gonna I mean, be fucking life, sick. Life is just reward systems, isn't it? Like you would go to work because we get rewarded with money. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, I'm a donkey with a carrot. <laughs> That's all I ever will be. Oh my god, I see it. Oh my god, Kagito Ergo Sum. Motherfuck! <laughs> I don't know those last three words, but I feel like... I think, therefore I am, Rene Descartes. It's also the only thing she knows. <laughs> Carpe bloody DM. Oh, of course. There you My go. apologies. Carpe do one, sweetheart. Am I right? The men are talking. Well, my yeah. question is this. Thursdays, 9pm, Taskmaster. Yes. Thursday, 9pm, April. Sky. April. April 6th. Six. It's already out. Yeah. Guy, yeah. Dreamland. Dreamland. Yes. Yeah. Ghosts, final Ghosts. series. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want people to see? You doing your live show again anytime soon? Yeah, yeah. Doing string piece. You saw that, didn't you? Yeah, I loved it. In Thanks. Downstairs Did you see in Soho. December or April? December. Downstairs. December was good. April was great. Oh. No, wait, I did see it in April because that's oh, when good. I was doing my show. Great, yeah. Yeah, because I great. stayed. I stayed and watched it after me. Nice. So that's going to be at Soho Theatre again? Yes. Uh, right. August. Fantastic. Wait, I don't think I'm allowed to say. Um, who fuck it? It's fucking theatre. Who cares? Okay, people can keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Do you do any of those? I don't do TikTok. Do you do the others? The others, yeah. What will people find you at? Um, if they tried hard enough, they'll find me. Wow. We'll tag Kyle it's and everything we perish for. Just tag Kyle. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. Oh, no, no, you, you, you must. No, you I must. don't want to. I've got my sweets so from you nice. now. You go fuck off. <laughs> Before this period kicks in, I've got time to get feminax down my gob. Thank you very much, Kaya.